Hi guys, how are you? My name is Jennifer Medina and today we're gonna see lecture number one that is called the core of the Bible. But first of all, I would like to pray so we can put this time in God's hands. So if you want to join me, please let's close our eyes so we can pray. Lord, we want to thank you in this time because you allow me to share your gospel. I want to thank you because you allow me to share your word with your kids. Please, I, I ask you in this time so it can be your Holy Spirit, the one who guides us to all the truth because you are the truth, because you are the Christ. So we put this time in your hands and we, we thank you and we glorify your name in the name of Jesus who is the Christ. Amen. Okay, guys, so as a first point, we're going to learn the purpose for which the Bible was written, right? We already know that the Bible divides in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. The Old Testament talks us about that the Messiah has to come. In the New Testament, the Bible said that the Messiah came and that Messiah will come back again. So let us read in this chapter, in the book of John, what is, what is the purpose of the Bible. Okay guys, so in this verse we can see the purpose of the Bible. We can see that the Bible was written for us to believe that Jesus is the Christ. But, but why do I have to believe this truth? Why do I have to believe that He is the Christ? Because the Bible said that only by believing in this, I can have eternal life. But what is, this, what is that eternal life? If we look at the book of John in the verse 5, we can see this verse and let us read it, please. So in this verse, we can see that Jesus Himself is the eternal life. Right, the people used to search in the scriptures so they can have eternal life, but they didn't realize that Jesus was the eternal life. So that's why I have to believe in him because the Bible said that when I believe in him, I can have eternal life, but he himself is the eternal life. I can be with him, right? So let us read in the book of, of Luke what is talking about that he, all the scriptures talk about Jesus. So in this verse, we can see how the Bible shows us that all the scriptures talk us about only one person. That person is Jesus, and we already know that Jesus is the Messiah. So all the prophets, all the Psalms, and all the law talk us about only one person. That person is Jesus, who is the Christ, and this is the core of the Bible. So now that we already know all of these things, that we already know what is the core of the Bible, we're going to see what was the message of the early church, what was the message of the apostle, right? So as a first point, we're going to see Peter. In the, if we look at the book of Acts in the chapter 2, we can see how Peter was talking to many people, right? And the message of Peter was about the Messiah, was about Jesus who is the Christ. So he said that, that this Messiah, that, that, this, that this Jesus, that the people have crucified, God had made him both Lord and Messiah, right? And another example that we can see is in the book of Acts. In the chapter 5, we can see how the early church, all the time and all the days, they went to, temp to the temple and from house to house, preaching only one thing. And what was that thing that the early church was, was preaching? And the early church only preached one message. And it is the same message that Peter preached when he was talking in the book of Acts, right? That this message is that Jesus is the Christ. Okay, so we already saw that all the, the early church was preaching only one message. Peter preached only one message and Paul preached only one message. So all the early church only preached that Jesus was the Christ and this is the core of the Bible. And as a last example, we can see in the book of John, in first letter of John, chapter 5, in the verse 1, that everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ, everyone who believes in the core of the Bible, he has become child of God. So only by believing in Him is that I, have, can, that I can have eternal life and that I can be with Him and I can be His child. Okay guys, so as a last point, we're going to do an activity that it is going to be helpful for us to understand and to know what are the books of the Bible. So these are the materials that we are going to need. Make the 
Okay guys, so this is our final result. And as you can see, these are the books of the Bible. The Bible starts with the law, the book is the historical books, the Psalms, Prophet, Gospel, Acts, Paul's letter, Peter, John, Jude, and Revelation. And I did it in this way because we already know that all these books of the Bible talks, talks about only one thing, and that thing is the core of the Bible, the most important thing about that the Bible talks about, that whom is this person? This person is Jesus, whom is the Christ. So this is the end of the lecture, and let us pray. Dear Lord, we want to thank you in this time because you allow me to, to share of your gospel, because you allow me to share the core of the Bible to your children. Thank you because in this time we have learned that you are the most important thing in the Bible, that all the books of the Bible talks about only one thing, and that I have to believe that you are the Christ because only by believing in this I can have eternal life because you are you are the eternal life. Thank you because thank you for every kid that have watching this video and we pray and we glorify your name in the name of Jesus who is the Christ. Amen. Bye.